Hey you guys! Today I'm going to be customizing this Scara Screams doll. I got her on clearance for $5.73 I believe. She's the Ghoul's Fair line. And at first I didn't want to get this doll, but then in Target I walked by the TV section I saw the new trailer for the Ghostbusters movie, which I am going to see. Then I saw this new photo of the Comic Con exclusive Frankie that comes dressed as a Ghostbuster. So with all that combined, I decided so I can transform Scarer Screams into Daughter of the Slimer. And if you're not sure who the Slimer is, it's this guy. Well, with her dress, it seems very perfect. It comes with green splatters on it, but with the pink ribbon, I'll just have to repaint it green. And her shoes are also perfect since it has slime detailing at the top and the bottom. I'll just have to repaint it. She already has this green streak in her hair, which is pretty cool for the Slimer, I guess. And I'll just have to repaint her lips green, but her eyes, I'll just, I'm gonna have to repaint their entire eyes. I never did this before. Okay, so after a while, I painted in one eye just so I can get my little practice going on it. And for the lips, I repainted them already because there's already an outline I just had to follow, but there's no outline for the eyes. So, I'm going to show you guys how to repaint her eyes. So with the Slimer, the Slimer has yellow eyes and a red eye color. So I'm using the red for her eye color. I'm using a detail brush to start by painting on the entire eye color. Just using, taking my time. And I'm going to go over another coat so I can get that full red effect. Now with the added layer of red, I'm going to take some black and start painting on her pupils. I'm going to leave a little bit of red showing for her eye color. Now for the whites in her eyes, I'm going to take a little bit of white, then make a little slash mark going into her pupil. Next I'm going to take a toothpick, dip it in some white craft paint, then I'm going to add a small little dot at the corner of her eye. And there it is. And for the outside of her eyes, I just painted them yellow. And now with her outfit, I didn't really have to do much. I just painted the pink ribbon green. I added on this little belt I got from a Bratz fashion pack and I just repainted her boots and I painted on the slime details green. Okay, and for this step, I tied her hair back into a ponytail because I am gonna be working with hot glue and you don't want to get hot glue into your doll's hair. Okay, so since she's going to be daughter of the Slimer, I wanted to make it look like she's actually, you know, part slime. So I'm using some clear hot glue, then going down her legs, avoiding her hinges and articulation parts, you know, those things, and make it look like she's actually slime. I'm going to continue going down her arms. Now I'm going to give her this leather jacket that I got from a Bratz fashion pack. And I cut off the sleeves to show the little slime going down her arms. I also painted on some black gloves on her hands. So this wasn't really much of a hard custom. The only thing I had trouble with was the eyes since she didn't have any eyes. But she also does not come with a stand, but the way her shoes are at the bottom helps her stand pretty much alone by herself. And since her skin tone was already a green, I didn't have to worry about repainting her or getting a different doll. So since she's a new character, I'm going to call her Selma Slimer, daughter of the Slimer. And well you guys, that brings an end to my first ever Monster High custom doll. If you guys liked it, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for more. See you guys next time.